So, uh, I, I guess um, Grimberg says that uh, First Strike is discontinuing their standard uh, magazines. So, Grimberg won't be, um, be able to modify them to take uh, 12 gram CO2. So, they, they now make this rebuild kit. So you uh, take apart one of your old eight gram ones for the hardware, and um, it's really easy to put together. They they really did a nice job with that. Um, they include their own follower, and uh, it's it's different. You know, it doesn't do what the Wixen follower does. So I don't know um, if it'll shoot BKs. We'll have to see. But, you know, it, the same company makes these, so hopefully it's made to fit those. Now, I've seen pictures of um, the Z-Rams follower, and I, th I think it has a similar setup, a kind of a concave ramp thing. So, we're going to see how that goes. One, two, three, four, five... Six. <clears throat> now it was difficult uh, to get the pin back through that spring hole and then after I did it <clears throat> I found a brand new spring right where I was working so I guess that came with this kit and uh, it was a nicer spring it was is a little bit bigger and probably would have been easier to put that pin through you gotta make sure you press those little plastic things all the way back down too okay so all righty Let's give it a shot with um, our old friend Grim. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and put that in there. It's got the Grim logo there. You could probably barely see it. Barely. Uh, and match the Grim logo here. And what they did was they made a window in the back so you can see that your CO2 is there. Um. I think that's interesting. It would be nice to cut the post maybe a quarter inch off of there too, so it doesn't stick out quite as much. But I'm nitpicking. Let's see how it works. Let's see how it cycles those HPs. Huh. That clicked in nicely. I'm gonna put my hearing, hearing protection in today today. <laughs> uh -huh. Might as well take a reading. Might as well. Alright. Got a little room on this test, test medium here. I'm going to shoot for that corner. Behind the t-shirt, jacket, and hoodie. T-shirt, jacket, and hoodie. See what that did. Man. Uh, my aim was off. My aim was off and I got it, I think, here. And I think the jacket was kind of hanging a little. I think I, I, I aimed low on purpose thinking I was going to get muzzle rise. All right, let's do this right. Let's do this right. <coughs> wow, that was a big difference. Hmm. Huh. Another shot. So these are the hits here. You see it bent the panning pretty good. Uh-huh. 
So it seems to be cycling them well. Oh, I got the click again. That's the second time I got the click. The click of dead trigger. I got them on both of them today. What's going on? This one I turned up a half a turn. Get this out. So I don't know what the deal is with this one now. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Hmm. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. Hmm. That's not a good, that's not good results. I can't even, I'm not even gonna try shooting um, BKs through there. Jeez. What? It's not clicking in. Well, it took a lot of work to click. What? Well, I'm not sure. It's got some bugs to work through, I guess, maybe. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Can always just put Grimberg barrel back on this guy and just put V2s in there. And uh, this guy was originally named Grim because he was all set up with Grimberg stuff. So Grimberg, Grimberg. I, I really got to push that in there to make a click. I wonder what's up with that. Hmm. Grim. All right. Thanks for watching.